For today's video, we will answer a math challenge given by one of our followers. And the question goes like this. Given this equation, x squared over x raised to the fourth power plus 1 equals 1 over 7, wherein x is a real number. Then our goal is to find the numerical value of x cubed plus 1 over x cubed. Now you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. Now, suppose you pause this video. Now, let's see if you get the correct answer. All right. So now, using this equation, x squared over x to the fourth power plus 1 equals 1 over 7, wherein x is a real number, then our goal is to find the numerical value of x cubed plus 1 over x cubed. And to answer this question, of course, let's get the given equation. We have x squared over x to the fourth power plus 1 equals 1 over 7. Now, this is very unusual because the larger power of x is in the denominator. So, why not? Let's take the reciprocal of this equation. So, we have x which is the fourth power plus 1 over x squared equals 7 over 1 or simply equal to 7. Now, why we do that? Because we will apply the concept of similar fraction. So, x which is the fourth power plus 1 over x squared, we can rewrite this as x raised to the fourth power over x squared plus 1 over x squared. We have the same denominator, so we can combine them. Just add the numerator and copy the denominator, of course. Now, x raised to the fourth power divided by x squared, this is just x raised to the power of 2. Now, this is very important because we get the value of x squared plus 1 over x squared, and we know this is 7. So, let's set aside this result. We will use this later on. And our goal is to find the value of x cubed plus 1 over x cubed. But before that, we know also that x squared plus 1 over x squared is just 7. So let's have x plus 1 over x. Our goal now is to find the value of this. Because if we know x plus 1 over x, we can now get the value of x cubed plus 1 over x cubed. I will show you. Now first, Let's square on both sides because we will use this result, x squared plus 1 over x squared equals 7. Now, if we expand this, we get x squared plus 2 times x times 1 over x plus 1 over x squared. Now, simplifying this, x multiplied by 1 over x, this is just 1. And now, let's rearrange some terms a little bit. And now, notice, we have the value for x squared plus 1 over x squared. We all know that this is just 7. So we can replace this with 7. And we get that x plus 1 over x or is the power of 2 must be equal to 7 plus 2 or simply equal to 9. Now to get the value of x plus 1 over x, let's get the square root on both sides. And take note, we have two possible values here. We have positive and negative. On the left hand side, we can cancel out the square and the square root. So this is just x plus 1 over x. And on the right-hand side, positive or negative square root of 9 is simply the same thing as positive or negative 3. Now, we get that the value of x plus 1 over x is just positive or negative 3. This is very important. And again, using this x plus 1 over x, we can now get the value of x cubed plus 1 over x cubed. Because, take note, if you cube this, we get something like x cubed plus 3 times x squared times 1 over x, plus 3 times x times 1 over x squared, plus 1 over x cubed. If we expand x plus 1 over 3 to the power of 3. Now, simplifying this, x squared multiplied by 1 over x, this is simply equal to x. And x multiplied by 1 over x squared, this is just 1 over x. Now, we have a common factor of 3. Why not? Let's factor out this 3. Now, let's rearrange some terms a little bit because we want the value of x cubed plus 1 over x cubed. And, again, rearrange some terms a little bit to get the value of x cubed plus 1 over x cubed. And we know this is just x plus 1 over x raised to the power of 3 minus 3 multiplied by x plus 1 over x. So, using this value, we can now get the value of x cubed plus 1 over x cubed. And... Let's have the value of x plus 1 over x. First, let's have positive 3 
So if we do that, we get 3 cubed. This is becomes 3. So we have 3 cubed minus 3 times 3 equals the expression that we want to evaluate, x cubed plus 1 over x cubed. Also, another value of x plus 1 over x is negative 3. So let's replace this with negative 3. If we do that, we get negative 3 raised to the power of 3 minus 3 times negative 3 equals x cubed plus 1 over x cubed. Now let's simplify. 3 raised to the power of 3, this is just 27. Negative 3 times 3 is negative 9. So 27 minus 9, this is just 18. On the other hand, negative 3 raised to the power of 3, this is negative 27. And negative 3 times negative 3, this is just positive 9. And negative 27 plus 9, this is just negative 18. Therefore, we have two possible values for x cubed plus 1 over x cubed. Namely, we have positive 18 and negative 18. And also, we can write this as simple as positive or negative 18. Therefore, using this equation x squared over x raised to the fourth power plus 1 equals 1 over 7, then the numerical value of x cubed plus 1 over x cubed must be equal to positive or negative 18. And as always, we are done.